Hey y'all, uh, happy Monday. I had to think what day it was. Happy Monday, everybody. Hope everyone had a great weekend. So this is gonna be a day in the life, what I eat in a day, the whole bit. Um, so right now, y'all, it is 3.43 a.m. And I am picking my son up from work. He gets off work at four um, in the morning. And I'm picking him up from work. Right now, I'm in like a um, drop-off pickup line for the employees. So, I'm waiting for him to come out. He should be coming out in about 10 minutes. So, this is how I'm starting my day off. Bright and early, 3.30 in the morning. So, it's really well lit out here. And where he works at, it's like 10 minutes up the road from the house. So, I don't have to go far. 10 minutes and we're good to go. He is going to be carpooling with someone, but his friend doesn't start working at this place until next week. So, um, and then they'll, they'll carpool together because they work the same shift. So, um, yeah, so I'm doing that right now. And then I'm going to try and go back home and go to sleep. I'm off today. So today is Monday. I'm off today from work. So, yeah, the last couple of days I, um, over the weekend, I had to get him from work and go home and then get back up to go to work. So that was a little tough. Not that tough, honestly, because, and I don't, honestly, you guys, because I had to pick him up from work in the morning, I was going to bed earlier. Like before I would be on my phone when I got home from work, just, you know, browsing YouTube and watching videos and all that until about maybe 11 o'clock, sometimes even 12, and having to get up at 5.45 in the morning. But now because I have been having to come get him in the mornings from work, I um, go into bed, get into bed like 9.30. Like literally putting the phone down and going to sleep at like 9.30. Because I'm like, man, I got to get up at 3.30 to go get my son. And then I'm like, then I have to get up, you know, at 5.45 for myself to get ready for work. So... Anyway, on that being said, I've been getting to bed earlier because I've been having to come get him from work. So, but he just started this new job. So, and these were the hours that he chose simply because, um, I think my son likes working overnight. I think he just enjoys the night shift. I don't know what it is, but, um, yeah, or maybe that's what they had available. I don't know, but he had a job before where he worked these types of hours and he got off, you know, early early morning like this but anyway this is how I'm starting my day off in the pickup line there's people coming around to drop people off and pick people up so waiting for him to come out and then I'm gonna go home and probably try to go back to sleep it's yeah I'm gonna go back to sleep it'll probably take me about an hour to fall back to sleep but I will all right y'all so I'm gonna wait for him to come out and I'll see you guys back here in a few hours. <laughs> Hello you guys, happy Monday. Happy Monday morning to everyone. Hope everyone had a fantastic weekend. I was at work this weekend. It was still all good. So I hope everyone is doing well. It is 9.38 a.m. Um, so in the last clip where I went to uh, pick up my son from work early this morning at 3.30 in the morning, and I told you guys that, oh, when I get home, you know, I'll probably take about an hour to fall back to sleep. You guys, once I got back home and laid back down, it was more like 10 minutes. Like, I, your girl was out. <laughs> I was out for the count. And I finally, not finally, but when I, when I opened up my eyes this morning, it was about 8.45. And I was like, yes, that that's, that's good for me. So, um, yeah, so right now I am... About to get a big old tall glass of you know what y'all coffee. Big old tall glass of coffee going on. I was thinking about using um, making a protein coffee with my. Um, I think I will do that this morning. Like I said, I normally like to save my protein shakes for work, but I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do that this morning. I'm gonna grab one of my protein shakes out of my pantry because I haven't tried this one yet. The cafe latte i think i'm going to try this and i am going to um measure this out because i only use a half a one in here so i'm going to find my food scale when you're on a weight loss journey you guys no matter what type of whatever you're doing 
invest in a really good food scale. Well, it doesn't have to be a really good food scale. I got this at a Walmart for like five, for less than 10 bucks. And a food scale is so important um, because you'd be surprised at how much like an actual portion or serving size is. It will like literally, sh if you've never weighed or measured food before, it will literally shock you and how much a serving size of something is. You'd be like, that's all they want me to eat? Yeah, that, that, that's all they want you to eat in a serving size. So you'd be really shocked at how much a serving size of something really is. But I love my food scale, you know, um, especially if I want to get like accurate measurements of things. Um, it's, so, it's important to do that. So, you know. So this is, what is this, 11 fluid ounces. I'm gonna use five and a half ounces of this in my coffee this morning. So I just, put you guys closer here, if you can see that, I don't know. I just go ahead and I just measure out five and a half ounces. A little bit over, five, um, Six ounces, a little bit over. So it's 5.9, we'll call that six ounces. And um, then I'm just gonna add coffee the rest of the way. So that's what I got going on right now. I don't know y'all, I think it's gonna be a light day for food, I'll see. I'm not really hungry right now, but last night when I came home from work, I got home about eight o'clock. I was hungry, you guys, and I had a, um, I made myself a couple of scrambled eggs with cheese and two pieces of my keto um, toast. And I ate that last night at like eight o'clock. I was so hungry when I got home from work and I brought enough food with me. It was really weird, but I'm gonna use my stove cold brew coffee in here. <clears throat> and normally when I use the shake in my coffee, you guys, I don't need to add a sweetener to it. So I'm just gonna see what this tastes like. Like I said, I never had the cafe latte. So I'm gonna give this a stir and just see what this tastes like. It's good, but with this one, I think I need a little bit of sweetener in that. The cafe latte to me is not, it doesn't have the same sweetness as the other ones do. And I like a sweet coffee, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I like a sweet coffee. You know, I cannot drink, wake up in the morning and drink black coffee. I know some people can, and um, especially when you're fasting, they tend to just get up in the morning and have black coffee until they break their fast. No ma'am, no ma'am, no sir. That just cannot be, you know. Because everything ain't for everybody and black coffee certainly is not for me. That's a lot better with, yeah. That's a lot better with a couple of chubias in it, for me anyway. It's a lot better. I am gonna add a little bit of element to that, which I need to um, probably go on their website and put an order in because um, I don't wanna be out of them, but you know. I'll fix that in a minute. Uh, let's see. And like I said, these last me a long time because I don't use a whole one every time I use them. I just pour a little bit in it at a time. Just a little bit in at a time. And you know, for me, a little bit goes a long way. And it's electrolyte powder. So, you know, it builds up in your system over time. So, I don't feel the need to use a whole one every time I have a cup of coffee. Oh, I have my little frother here. But you know what, guys? I, I don't have batteries. I forgot to pick up batteries for it, so I couldn't use it for my coffee. <laughs> and I don't think I have any batteries here. I don't know. Perfect. Okay. So, we got our coffee going. So, I'm going to drink my coffee, fix my little doodad here. And then, I don't know y'all, when I come back and I have some food or something else to talk with you guys about or show you, I will. Um, 
I don't know, I need to clean my bathroom. I really need to clean my bathroom. So I might go, go do that. We'll see. It's uh, 9.45 in the morning on a Monday and we'll see where the day takes us. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all back here in just a little bit. By the way, guys, my Shein order. I know I told you guys I was supposed to have a Shein order delivered. Well, they only delivered part of the package. So, and I think what's in that package is only like two things. So when they deliver the other part of it, then I'll show you guys that. I'm gonna light a candle in my kitchen here. I love lighting a candle in my kitchen because this apartment is pretty small. It's just your basic, you know, two bedroom kitchen, dining, living room, living room you know, apartment. And these candles, y'all, they just, they just go through the whole house. So, I just, you know, it's just regular Walmart candles. I need a new lighter. And um, why does this keep blowing out? And um, it just goes throughout the whole house. And I wake up in the morning and I just light my candle. This is also something else that gives me a lot of joy in the morning. My coffee and lighting a candle. You know, y'all, it's the simple things. Come on. And this lighter is going out. I need to go to Dollar Tree and get more. I probably, I probably have more around here somewhere. I don't even know where I put them. But anyway, simple things like this give me joy. I just light my candle and have my coffee and all is well. <laughs> I sit it right up there on my little thingy there and I just let it burn all day long. Coffee time. All right, y'all. So it is 11.30 now and I am hungry. So I'm going to show you what I'm having for my first meal. So in this bowl, I have some eggs. I have one whole egg and some egg whites. I have some spinach in here. That's what the green is. I have some chicken sauce, sausages, the Delilah's chicken sausages. Those are really good. I showed those in a little mini grocery haul I think I had in my last video. And those sausages are really good. There are zero carbs in those sausages. And um, I forget how many calories they are, but there's zero carbs. And then I have a tablespoon of bacon bits in here as well. So I didn't put any cheese in here this morning. I'm just having the eggs, the bacon, and the spinach, and the chicken sausage. And I'm also drinking on my water. So that's what I have going on for my first meal. So I'm gonna sit and enjoy my breakfast, and I'll see you guys back here in a few minutes. All right, y'all, so I'm in Aldi just to pick up a few things. So. So far, I got these keto-friendly multi-seed high-fiber that, and these are 13 carbs, 13 fiber, which means they're zero net carbs, and you get four grams of protein in each one, and it's 70 calories for the one tortilla, so I got some of that. I think we're going to have some wraps for dinner tonight. I did get a thing of their blueberries, and so far, I got some strawberries. All right, you guys, so I see like these Fiber One, sort of like the Aldi brand, and this is the lemon, and it is um, 70 calories, and this is seven net carbs and two grams of total sugar per bar, so I'm gonna get this one. This is the lemon, and I'm also gonna try their chocolate fudge, and this is five net carbs and two grams of total sugar and 70 calories. I normally get the Fiber One, but I'm an Aldi today, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the Aldi brand. Yeah, so I'm picking up their garlic bread cheese. I love to come to Aldi and get the bread cheese. They only have this available in the summertime, so I do like to get it when I'm in Aldi. Also got the Aldi's brand of the Laughing Cow Cheese. Have some of the Belly Sliced Honey Turkey Breast. Also grab a pound of the Lean Ground Beef. It's for 93.7 for $7.80. Also grab some turkey bacon as well. Also picked up, also picked up a bag of lemons as well.
All right, you guys, so I am having a snack plate. So on my snack plate, I have some cucumber that I just cut in like little strips that look like pickles, but it's actually cucumber. Over here, I have some dill dip, and this is what I got, the Marzetti dill dip. I think I got this out of Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. So that's the dip I'm having. Then I'm having some of this turkey that I got out of Aldi today. You saw that in my little shop with me. And in the turkey, I do have one wedge of the Laughing Cow cheese that I rolled up inside the turkey. So this is my little snack plate and you will see the carbs and the protein counts on the screen. All right, you guys, so it is six o'clock. It is currently dinner time. And this is what we are having. We are having chicken wraps for dinner. So in my wrap, you guys, I just have some chicken tenders that I breaded with my low carb breading. Put them in my air fryer for 25 minutes and they came out perfect. I have some lettuce and some Ken's Caesar dressing in that seeded low carb wrap that I got out of Aldi. Over here, I just have some extra chicken on the side of my plate. And I do have some Quest chips and the Quest chips that I'm using, you guys, are the chili lime Quest chips. So this is what I'm doing for dinner. I'm also having a zero sugar A&W root beer. All right, y'all, so this is what's for dinner and I'll see you guys back here in just a little bit. All right, y'all, so it is 6.30. My dinner was delicious. That wrap was so yummy, y'all. So anyway, I'm having some coffee and in my little Washington DC mug there. I have some coffee here. Uh, can't wait to get into that. And then for dessert, I'm having one of these um, Aldi Fiber One uh, bars, they call them Fiber Now. And this is the lemon one, and I'll let you guys know how they taste. So this is what I am doing for dessert. All right, you guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, guys, give it a thumbs up for me. You can also leave a question or a comment down below. I have a couple of new subscribers. Welcome, glad you decided to subscribe and stay over here with us. So I'm going to end this night, you guys. I'm going to enjoy my cup of coffee, have my dessert, and you guys know I will definitely see y'all tomorrow. Take care and have a great night. Bye now.